Hi, this is Liana Cemento, your favorite Metro Atlanta realtor, and here we are today talking about how not to price your home, okay? <laughs> there are many things that you need to do to price it correctly, but there are five things that are crucial you know that you shouldn't use when deciding how to price it. And the first thing we're going to talk about is how much you paid for it. I know it's a big consideration. After all, you want to be profitable when you sell your home. However, what uh, market demand will determine the price of your home, not how much you paid for it, unfortunately. That's why uh, when we had the big depression in 2007, 8, 9, 10, um, people couldn't sell their homes because they were really worth less than what they paid for. All right. So the other thing that you need that you cannot take in, into consideration when pricing your home is how much money you put into it renovating. For example, let's say that you spent $50,000 with new granite floors, new granite in the kitchen floors and upgrading the color of the home. Unfortunately, that amount of money cannot be added to whatever you think your house is available is is worth um, because they will not have the same value to a buyer as they have to you. All right. So be very careful when updating your home because you might not get all of that money back. Uh, another thing that you do not use when pricing your home is price per square feet. I mean, you can use it as a guideline, as something to start from, but you cannot use it as the sole method of pricing your home. And the reason for that is because, for example, a newer home, similar, everything staying the same except by age, will have a higher price per square foot than an older home or different idea a uh, older home that is more updated that has more features will have a higher price per square footage than the newer home so it's it depends a lot price per square foot will depend a lot on the condition of the home so it should not be your sole way of pricing your home for sale Another thing that you cannot use as a price as a way of pricing your home is what your neighbor, your friend, your mother, your father, your cousin told you your house is worth. Because unfortunately, what they tell you is just their opinion. You actually need somebody who understands the market and what is happening to tell you what is the market is sa market saying right now. All right. So make sure that you're not following other people's opinion, other people who are not qualified to give you an opinion about that. Uh, finally, you cannot take into consideration someone else's houses, a friend, a family member that sold somewhere else in town. For example, if you're selling a house in Marietta and it's very similar to somebody that you know that just sold in Brookhaven, the prices of those homes, even if they were the same home, just in different locations, will be very, very different because location has a huge impact on the price of a home okay so the five things that you need to steer away from when pricing your home are how much you paid for it how much money you put into it price per square footage what other people's opinion of the price is and how much a house that you know that are similar to yours sold somewhere else, okay? If you want to know how you can price your home correctly, stay tuned, come back tomorrow, and I'll give you all the tips to get the price right so you can get the most money for your house. All right, I'll see you next time. And as you know, my number is 843-267-4165. Feel free to call me at any time with any questions. I'd love to help. See you soon, bye-bye.